Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about, I'm still going on with the previous videos because I don't want to lose that little thread that is so important for everybody, you know, about embracing that you are different. And even those people that keep trying to tell you that they're the same as everyone else and they're trying to fit in, they still have their own qualities, you know, that make them different. But they start to block all of that out because they're too busy trying to fit in and not stand out in any way that attracts attention to them in a negative way. So what I wanted to talk about in this video was that growing up, my mum was my rock. So today I'm going to talk about my mum in a different way. <laughs> um, my mum was the type of person that was, you know, uh, she wasn't the what if kind of person. She was the kind of person of what have we got to lose? You know, because she had such a poor childhood and she had nothing to start with, her attitude was always, I've got nothing to lose, so I'm just going to try it. And, you know, we've had so many wonderful adventures because of my mum's attitude towards life. You know, we've got nothing to lose, so let's just go with it. So once you get a quickie idea, you know, that you want to do something. So today, you know, for a lot of people, I know that a lot of parents or adults in your life, because not everyone has parents. So, you know, you've got to think of, you know, those adults around you that are raising you, whoever they may be, you know. Uh, they don't have that in them. They have a fear of doing anything new. They have a fear of making mistakes, okay? And so they will pass that down to you, you know, of, oh, no, you know, avoid mistakes. Mistakes are bad, you know. But today, I want to be that adult that my mum was for me in that sense that if you have an idea, go with it. You know, I want to be your rock in that sense. If you don't have it in your life at the moment, you know, to, to do what it is that you want to do. You know, just be who you need to be. And don't worry about the rest of the world. Don't worry about making mistakes. Now, here's something that I want to talk about today. This thing about mistakes because this is what stops so many people you know we are punished so much when we're little for making mistakes don't make mistakes you know is what we're taught but as a piano teacher because I keep going back to that okay because it's such a great example for everything in life you know as a piano teacher if my students don't make hundreds of mistakes while they're learning a piece a piece would never be completed. We would never have beautiful music, you know, that musicians can play for us. When you hear this orchestra or this pianist playing these gorgeous pieces, they have made thousands of mistakes to get it to that level for you to listen to it all the way through without a mistake. They've already made a million mistakes to get it to that level. Without that commitment, it's impossible. We wouldn't have music. People wouldn't even bother sitting down to practice anything really, <laughs> not any of the instruments. Because as a musician, when you are learning, you have to embrace them. You know, for the longest time when I was a kid, I used to find it really frustrating when I was playing piano because I'd be one of these people that I wanted to get it on the first go. You know, or on the second go. I wanted it to be perfect already on the second or third time that I tried to play it. And it wasn't until I started teaching it that I realized one day I was sitting there and, I th and it was because of things that have happened in my life that I needed it to be perfect from the beginning. That's in another video. But for now, I want to stay with that topic of one day I was sitting there and I was in my 30s by now. And I remember I was trying to work on this piece that I'd loved oh for so long i just loved hearing this piece and i thought there's something so different when you listen to a piece than when you're actually playing it yourself because you feel like even that's not your piece but you feel like you're creating it from scratch so you know little by little and it's just an awesome feeling for those of us that understand you know as musicians when you've got this piece and you've started it and it sounds Ugh, at the beginning it sounds awful <laughs> you know when you're first starting to put the notes together it doesn't sound like anything but 
as it progresses and then when you get to the end there's such a feeling of achievement you know that this it, you've done this you know if you didn't do this people in the world wouldn't know what these beautiful pieces sound like if musicians didn't spend hours and hours making dozens of mistakes to put these together for you now in my 30s and I think it was late 30s I remember one day I was sitting there with this piece that I'd adored from very young and I was finally at a stage where I could play it and I was sitting there and I think it was the third or fourth time through and I was starting to get frustrated with it like I always had before and then I just stopped right I sat there in front you know at the piano and I'm looking at this piece and I thought to myself why do I need to get it done in four goes or five goes or ten goes this was all in my head right so I said to myself that day you know what if it takes me a thousand goes I love this piece so much that's what I'm gonna do and from that moment on I could actually sit and practice at peace I didn't have this tension that I had before of oh my god I've got to get it done you know <laughs> because if I don't get it done in that many goes I don't know what was going to happen. My piano wasn't going to explode or anything. So I don't know <laughs> what the reasoning was of why the, the pieces, you know, needed to be at the time. I didn't understand why I needed them to be done in a certain amount of time. You know, why I didn't have the patience with myself to commit as many mistakes as I needed to, to get to that point of enjoying the piece completed, you know, the completed piece where it sounds absolutely beautiful and you know you've done this, you know, with many hours of practice. And so from then I finally, I was able to sit down and really enjoy the process, you know. But for many people, you go through life and you stop learning. You don't want to learn anymore because learning means making mistakes, many mistakes as you're learning to do something we get caught in a little rut of oh, we know how to do this so let's just stay with that even if we're miserable doing that we'll, we'll just stay with that because we're too scared of if I veer off to try something new I've got to learn something new which means I've got to make mistakes I don't want to do that you know but then we're stuck so I'd like you to think about that today I'd like you to think about are you avoiding any change in your life because you don't want to go through that phase where you're going to be making mistakes. Really think about it. It's a very important question. Okay, my darling. So remember to click like and subscribe below for more videos. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye for now.